I've been waiting for this. I am like so queasy. All week I've been waiting for this. Standing by this thing. All right, so from tarantulas to beetles with horns and hissing cockroaches, we have seen it all this We week. sure have, but I think today it's my favorite right now. For our final day of Spooky Safari with the Butterfly Pavilion, we've got a bug that truly strikes fear in the heart of many. And that includes Miss Corey Rose, the Black Widow. This morning we got Calais Lejeune here to tell us a little bit more about this scary spider. Calais, good morning. Morning. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Thank you for being with us. Okay, Calais, first of all, you used to have a fear of spiders. I did. You don't so much anymore. Mm -hmm. So proof that you can get over that fear if you would just face it. I am. Look at how close <laughs> right I am to the thing. Yeah, super close. I'm here, want to trade me spots? No, I'm good. Okay, okay, I'm good right okay. Here. So, Callie, black <sighs> widows have a reputation, obviously. What should people know about them, though? Yeah, they are a really small animal that does have a really big reputation, right? So they are always just trying to find their hiding spots. They don't want to bug us. They're really reluctant to bite anything that is bigger than them. Um, so even though they do have this really big reputation, they're also not quite as deadly as people think. So they are really just gonna find those little hidden places to tuck away and hide and avoid us as much as possible. When we say they're more afraid of us than we are of them, it is absolutely true in this case. Oh, it's moving. Ooh, and it, I am glad to Corey, get out of here. Face your fears. I can't, and the video is making it so much worse. That's not video, that's live. Oh, okay, I, I can't even look. Okay, um, you were saying that this is actually a small, mm -hmm. smaller version of like... Yeah, so she is a little on the smaller side for a female Black Widow. We have seen a few bigger, um, but she, yeah, is just, she's exploring right now. She's trying to figure out where she's hanging out, where's the best spot for her to sit and wait for her prey to come. Um, so she's really... I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Corey, you can get in the camera yeah. at least. <laughs> like, is Corey Rose in the room with us right now? I, I hear Rose her. I want to be in the room with us right now. <laughs> Oh my okay, God. how should people balance out their fear of yeah. these beautiful creatures being dangerous with also the curiosity and understanding that Corey's son actually does have? Love spiders. Yeah, I mean, Butterfly Pavilion is a great place to do that, right? We are an invertebrate zoo, so we specialize in all kinds of animals that don't have backbones, and a lot of those animals can be really intimidating for people. There's yeah. spiders and scorpions and centipedes and things that even I still am not comfortable with, but they are super important to their ecosystems. A lot of them are pollinators or decomposers, or like the black widow and other spiders, pest control, mm -hmm. um, important parts of the food systems in those um, ecosystems. So as much as we may fear them and think that they're kind of scary, they are really important, just like any other animal to our environment. We need them, see? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do they eat? Besides um, me, the People. black widow yeah, is <laughs> a lot of spiders are going to eat things that are smaller than them. So for her, that'd be like crickets or other little bugs. But yeah. do do the males also have the hourglass or just females? No, the males are a lot smaller. The females are going to have this classic kind of black widow body shape that really bright red hourglass on her abdomen there. Um, and then, yeah, the males are much smaller than the females. All right. She's days. getting curious I'm over sweating. here. She's I'm moving sweating. around, Corey. OK. But like we said, even though I have a crazy fear of spiders, you guys at the Butterfly Pavilion are really, really incredible with everything that you do and getting the information about there, out there about how important these invertebrates mm -hmm. are. So right now you have a couple events going mm -hmm. around. One of them my son would love to do, but <laughs> Uncle Jordan's going to take us. <laughs> um, the spiders around the world. So talk mm -hmm. about your events that you have coming yeah, up. Yeah, right now October is our favorite month. We get to showcase spiders all month long. And um, we've got spiders around the world where we bring out some more tarantulas than usual. We do have a black widow on display at Butterfly Pavilion. And we have our spider zone, which is where people can walk among living or breathing spiders and get up close to them in a safe environment. And in addition, we have this weekend, uh, Bugaboo, which is our safe indoor trick-or-treating event. So you can dress up, bring the whole family, get some treats oh. while you're exploring all of our regular exhibits. That is so awesome, Calais. Thank you so much for coming in. Y'all have been so wonderful all yeah. week. We learned so much. There's all the information on your screen to check out either of those events. And of course, you can find more information as well as tickets on www.butterflies.org. Also, make sure you join us next week at 9 for another round of Spooky Safari, this time with the Denver Zoo. Thanks, Calais. Thank you. I hope they bring in a big snake for you. We shall Your see. Fear. I don't know. Does push my, you oh, we're out it. of time. We're out of time. Let's go to weather with Katie.